So scrub lizards are a small lizard. They're closely related to the fence lizard, which is further north in Florida. And they're basically adapted to scrub habitat. So they need the large areas of bare sand associated with shrub clumps, um, typically scrub oaks. And they spend almost all their time in the bare sand. That's where they bask. That's where they interact with others. And that's where they forage for food. My name is Kevin Engie. I'm an associate research scientist with the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. I've worked for FWC yep. for almost 30 years. Male. I received my master's from the University of Florida and one of my first jobs after getting it in 1986, I was hired by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to conduct a status survey for the Florida scrub lizard. Ironically, about 30 years later, um, Fish and Wildlife Service gave Hello. FWC money to conduct another status survey because they were petitioned to list it as a federally threatened species. So 30 years ago, the Florida scrub lizard was pretty widely distributed along the Atlantic coast and they were quite common in Palm Beach County. I found them in 15 of the uh, 16 scrubs that I surveyed and they were pretty abundant. Well, 30 years later, uh, they've disappeared from 15 of those 16 scrubs and they're only in one scrub in the very northern part of northern Palm Beach County. So the question is, you know, why did they disappear? Then it leads to the question of whether we could possibly reintroduce them. The idea was to collect lizards from two state parks in southern Martin County and to reintroduce them into Hypoluxo Scrub Natural Area, which is a Palm Beach County owned scrub uh, about 23 miles south of where they presently occur. We organized a um, catching effort for scrub lizards at Sea Branch Preserve State Park and at Jonathan Dixon State Park. Unfortunately, the wind was blowing and our noosing didn't really work, so most of the lizards we had to catch by hand. So we're up to 57 animals out of our target of 100 animals. Oh, I, oh it's a female. We ended up clipping the smallest toe on their front foot off, which not only marked them, but also provided us with a genetic sample. So we preserved each toe in 95% ethanol. And then that will allow us in the future to figure out how many animals contributed to that population. The plan is for the next two years, about every two months, to go out and monitor the population of hypoluxo scrub. So I'm optimistic about this uh, translocation project. Um, Lizards seem to be, I mean, worldwide, one of those species that is uh, most amenable to translocations, especially since we're not putting them in a habitat where they didn't used to occur. Um, it's just whether we've, you know, addressed the reasons why they originally disappeared. That was quick.